Hi, everybody. It's Ray, otherwise known as Life and Vibe. And I wanted to respond to a comment that was left on the video, how Sarasota Tim could have made $272,000 on YouTube. And just to clarify, this would have been over the lifetime of his channel. And yes, maybe I did go slightly on the high end. But I want to show how the comment that was left by Texman666 is about to go and eat crow. So let me bring him up real uh, big and let me make me small and I'll show you what my channel analytics are today. So Textman666, as we know, the sign of the devil, says, you are right. And the 25 people that disagree with you are wrong. You are acting just like Tim. Why is everyone else around 325 RPM and Tim is $13.80 RPM? We expect an apology when you figure out you were wrong. Well, text man 666, you're about to go eat crow. And no, you're not getting an apology from me because I'm going to share with you my channelytics. But before I do, I'm just going to throw out my fair use disclaimer to let you know that any information that I'm using, any videos that I use, are going to be transformed and for entertainment purposes only. And even though I am trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner and currently working as an RN here in the United States, I'm not treating or diagnosing anybody in this video. So, text man, let me bring up my own RPM. And if people are not familiar with what an RPM is, it means rate per a thousand. So there is a CPM, which is the cost per a thousand. That's what the advertisers will actually pay to see your videos. And there is also what's known as an RPM. That's the rate that you are being paid from YouTube for your videos. And as you can see, my average RPM is $5.44 which is somewhat higher than $3.25. So no, Texman666, you are not going to be getting an apology from me. So I'm sorry. That's just how it works. So <laughs> I just wanted to also show that I have a variety of different RPMs and it's I have no idea how they are different. It could be the titles I use, the subject matters I use, it can really be very variable. Here, I've got $6.71. Here, I have $9.29. And obviously, all of my videos are under the entertainment bracket. Now, if Tim happened to be putting his social securities under financial, which he shouldn't because he's not really a financial expert, but if he did, those videos can actually get higher RPMs. So it even depends on the category that you put your content in is going to be very important with what advertisers will then pay for your content. Obviously, I'm just here for entertainment purposes, so I just, I get the entertainment RPM. But as you can see, every single one of my videos has a different rate. Some are $6.71. This particular one, for some reason, was $9.29 on the RPM. This one here, uh, Sarasota Tim complains about spending his money at six fifty eight. dollars As you can just see, there's a variety of different RPMs. I, I've gone all the way down to $2.92. And as we saw, as high as over $9. So it really is a very variable number. There's nothing set in stone. But most of mine, as you can see, are higher. Oh, I got a $10 here. Much higher than $3.25. So no, Texman666, you do not get the apology you are so demanding that I give you and the 25 people who decided to argue in my comment section that I obviously did not understand how Channelytics works. So that's just kind of what shows to you and just how accurate things can be. Obviously, I cannot look at Tim, so I have no idea what he is or is not making. I'm getting an estimated revenue here of around $373.57. I can let you know that I do live stream. I do have memberships. So I can potentially bring in more than that. Last month, I actually brought in, I believe it was over $800 that I made on the channel. But like I said, I do live stream. People do send me super thanks, super chats. So there's a lot of different things that can make up this actual number here. You can also get money from YouTube Premium, 
It's just a variety of sources. So it's very difficult just to base it on this RPM. But I think people get mistaken because they look at other types of information. For example, if you go to Social Blade, and I'll bring up mine, which is pretty accurate. Let me share this time about what I might be making here, 394. But obviously, I actually have made more than that on most months. So this $3.94, I have usually made slightly higher. Last month was one of my better months. I always have made slightly more than $394. But that might just be based on the earnings from the advertisers. And as you can see here, that the highest that Social Blade is putting the CPM, that's the CPM, that's cost that the advertisers play, which is much higher than RPM. So here it's showing that they're paying anywhere from 25 cents to $4. And if you could see that my RPM was sometimes $10, I can promise you the CPM was higher than that. It would be a, a, a little bit more than what the advertisers is paying and then what I actually take home. So this is not an accurate idea to look at. Here's again, they're talking about the cost per thousand. That's what the advertisers pay. And if I'm making, as you could see here, I'm going to share the tab again, this is the RPM. So that's rate per 1,000. That's what I'm being paid as the creator, not what the advertisers are paying, which is what Social Blade, which is why Social Blade is not very accurate when it comes to earnings. That's just in my personal opinion. So let's go take a look at some of the latest ongoings with uh, Sarasota Tim's channel. So I'm going to share this tab instead. So some of the things I found interesting were these sub numbers, plus 100, minus 100, uh, minus another 100. So he's losing his subscribers. His views are down, 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 down. He got lots of down views there. Oh, he's just, I mean, he's really starting to lose his subscribers. So for a gentleman who keeps talking about the fact that he's getting close to 100,000 and getting a 100,000K plaque. Unfortunately, his his channel is showing quite differently. Even his views are going down at the height here. Gosh, he was over 2,766,000 views. And now he's sitting here at 788,000, just under 789,000 um, at the moment. So he's actually down on his views almost 25% which I think is probably because his content is so extremely boring. Let's just take a look at the videos and what the videos are doing at the moment. He is looking at his just here. He recently put out this driving to Paso Robles in the north. It had 834. He's got just over a thousand here on this Monterey beach. Tammy showed up and he got a little bit better. He's got this fisherman's grotto. You would have think that he would be getting more because he's actually out doing a couple of things. But it is also still the 4th of July weekend. A lot of people might still be on an extended week end break and therefore not really watching his content and out having fun with their families. Oh, so again, it's people, I can shocked that he's got 2,000 views on this. So back in California... So he is just taking Miss Tammy back and forth. And it's a few hours drive from uh, Vegas over. So he's just taking Tammy back and forth from Vegas to California. I mean, oh gosh, here we got just them saying goodbye. We got two videos, three videos all around the same Italian restaurant, which is just incredible. We got, it looks like a picture of the Pope here. Um, and then just the Tim and Tammy show. He is not used to these types of numbers. Tim is, is 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 much more accustomed to getting much higher views. Um, I know that we did have the boycott, and so he's uh, not being watched by as many people who don't like his content. 
I think when people start to realize that by watching him, how much money this person could get is incredible. I mean, he had almost 7,000 views standing in a gas station talking about the prices of gas in California, which I find incredible. <laughs> This is somebody who has no insider information into the gas and oil industry, and is certainly not an expert. It's just 65-year-old man complaining about the price of stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to point that out, Texas Tim, and uh, Tex Tim, or whatever your name is. Uh, I can't remember. But uh, we're just going to finish out and remind people why Sarasota Tim is one of these. No, no. I simply asked. I said, I wish I could have this dry bagot. Well, I mean, I sure know what that is. No, no. I simply asked. Yeah, we know that Tim is a dry beggar, that he loves to beg out for those coffees. All right. I'm just going to say goodbye. I want to thank all my wonderful channel subscribers and members for being patient as I am taking time to do schoolwork and start my new job. But I did want to get out this video to Textman666, the sign of the devil, <laughs> because he was very upset with me. And if you do like this type of content, I always ask you, please subscribe, hit the likes. You can leave me a comment. I don't mind. I'll respond. And I really do appreciate it. And I just Hope you all wash your hands, keep safe, have a great day.